Morning everybody, Marita de Toya from Century Intelligence. Welcome to the next Century story. Anna-Marie Lombard has done quite a few stories and especially from a leafy side. A leafy side, what do I mean with that? Um, from a Century Intelligence perspective, we look at people's Century threshold, Century processing. In other words, how much of the input that you get from your environment can your body take? Do you easily get overloaded? Do you need less, less um, sensory input? Or are you keen to be seeking more sensory input? Do you, do you want things to be a bit busier and louder? Now, I myself am a root on the sensory tree. That means I have loathed sensory thresholds. So for me, the calmer, the quieter my surroundings are, the better it is for me. When we think of sport and your sport activities and sport choices, I would, for instance, prefer to go for a walk instead of a run. Now, if you think about that, if you're walking, there's more consistency. There's more, I almost want to say predictability. Like, for instance, where Anna-Marie spoke about trail running, there's a variety the whole time. For a route like me, it would be better to have that predictability. Also, if you think of the surface of the road, I prefer to walk on a path. I'm blessed we live on a golf course in George in South Africa, so... There's beautiful paths that I can go and walk on. So on any given day, I would prefer to walk on the path instead of we do have a trail as well that goes into the indigenous forest, which is absolutely beautiful. The days that I choose to go into the forest have to be a very, very good century day for me, because even though it's absolutely beautiful, uh, you do have little branches and leaves and things that's scratching you. And that could easily put me into sensory overload. Now, if you think of that, that kind of difference with the leaves and the branches, that comes from your tactile system. With your tactile system, every time that there's a change um, in the path or that there's maybe a leaf that, that's um, scratching your skin, as a sensory root, I'm very, very aware of all of that input that I get. And like I said, on a good day, I do force myself and push myself to go on those trails because it's absolutely stunning. But on a day that I woke up and I'm already feeling a bit agitated, a bit irritable, which is usually due to um, sensory overload, maybe didn't sleep well, on those days, I would rather opt just to go walking um, on the normal path. Another thing that I really, really, really love to do is walking on the beach. Again, we're privileged we live close to the, to the beach as well, to the ocean. So my, my go-to, my first choice um, of place where I like to go for a long walk would be on the beach. I like to go barefoot, which might sound strange for something who do, someone who doesn't like too much input. But um, for me, if I'm wearing tuckies and socks and these small little... Uh, sand grains that goes into my socks that just doesn't work for me at all because I'm overly aware of those little grains even on a on a not so century good day for me I would be very aware of the seam of my sock in front of my in the, in the front of my shoe and if it doesn't feel right again it, it takes a quite a lot of energy to then get past that irritation and just enjoy the activity so for me the, the, my favorite thing to do is to go for a walk on the beach, beach barefoot. Um, there's something very calming for me to feel the sand, especially if, if the sand is wet. So I normally go if it's low tide. Um, and that's the deep pressure that I get as well. From the sand, it's cold. It's cool normally, which for me is refreshing. It wakes me up. It's a way to alert myself. And then... Interestingly, my, my sense of smell, I have high thresholds for smell. So the smell of the ocean and the smell of the outside really calms me down. It's very calming, very soothing. Um, with a walk on the beach, also the sound of the ocean, the sound of the waves breaking, for me personally, is a very calming effect. So it does come in as a very nice sport activity for me, but also it does calm me when when I need to be calmed down um, and I really I really prefer that I really enjoy that so much I hope you enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you again goodbye